sweet, sticky, melt-in-your-mouth cotton candy is one of my favorite treats, but I bet you've never had it this way. We're adding white chocolate chips to the ultimate pink carnival snack to create cotton candy fudge. On Just Add Sugar, we're bringing you some of our favorite sugary recipes that are sure to tempt and delight any sweet tooth. This fudge takes minutes to make and it's perfect for any celebration, birthday party, or even baby shower. So I'm gonna start by spraying my eight by eight pan with some nonstick cooking spray. And then into a double boiler, I've already started melting my white chocolate chips. A double boiler is basically a heat proof bowl over a pot of simmering water just so that we can slowly melt our white chocolate chips. And to that, I'm gonna add a can of sweetened condensed milk. And most fudge recipes, they start with sweetened condensed milk and some type of chocolate. So this is probably familiar to you. And then we're just gonna wait until all the chocolate and sweetened condensed milk is combined, melted, and smooth. Look how velvety this white chocolate is. So as soon as it's melted, we're gonna remove it from the heat and add our cotton candy flavoring. These cotton candy flavor mixes are typically used for frostings, cakes, and ice creams, but we're using it for the cotton candy fudge. So I'm just gonna pour one packet into the white chocolate. Be very careful because this stuff stains. And give it a mix. Oh, I just love the flavor of cotton candy. So we're just gonna mix it in and then we're gonna pour it into our prepared pan and let it set. And be sure to use a spatula to get every last drop of the fudge. It's so good. Oh, this looks amazing. Then we're gonna let this set for about an hour until it hardens. Now I'm gonna cut our fudge into nine squares. And actually, if you're making this for a party, this fudge is so sweet and decadent, you could get away with cutting even these pieces into four little pieces. And then to garnish our fudge, I'm using fresh cotton candy. Because if you're gonna go all out to make cotton candy fudge, you might as well have just a little hint of the real stuff. Just take it apart and get little fluffy pieces right on top. If you don't have access to cotton candy, you could always put sprinkles on top or paint the fudge with luster dust. That would be really cool. With that pink and blue, this is really great for a baby shower or any celebration. I mean, who doesn't love cotton candy? And the cool thing about topping the fudge with cotton candy is your guests know exactly what they're getting in for. All right, I can't wait to take a little bite. Mmm, this fudge is so good. I love how it tastes just like cotton candy. Brings me right back to going to the fair or carnival. It's sweet, it's rich, it's decadent. This is so good. Let me know what your favorite fair or carnival treat is in the comment box below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Pop Sugar Food. I'm Brandy, and I'll see you next time. Bye.